All right, YouTube, so this is a homemade uh, power stereo amplifier. Well, this thing doesn't have any uh, bass treble, anything, just uh, one power kit here and one power kit here. Well, this thing has 500 watt RMS, a 5 transistor on this side and 5 on another side. And these are the driver transistor, This one on this side and another on the other side. So that's it. And this thing has eight transistors uh, of the same thing, like 5200 and uh, 1943. Four of them on that side and four of them on this side. They are uh, like a bridge uh, circuit. And that's a 400 watt RMS. Well, this is a 45 volt, a 45, 0, 45 volt transformer with a 10 amp pair for this bigger kit. And you can see that's the bridge rectifier diode right there and I mounted to the cabinet with another extra hit sink there as you can see and there two pair of capacitors are there two are here and two are there they are like parallelly connected these two are connected serially and these two are connected serially but these two connected parallelly to this two uh, they are 100 volt and 10,000 MFD each. Uh, that's uh, huge. And uh, for this thing, yeah, there is another kit right here. It's a subwoofer amp kit. Well, as I'm using this for the subwoofer only, this thing is connected to my Pioneer AV receiver. Uh, but for um, what to say to boost the bass and uh, the gain I have uh, connected this it's from Monty you can see it's a local made kit but uh, good one and gain is uh, like uh, more so now it really shakes my whole house um, I would say the volume control don't even go to 50 percent and uh, this cabinet was supposed to have bigger fans well I have connected mounted bigger fans but uh, they made loud noise so I removed it and connected this four inch fan on here and another one here so uh, that's it and this is a 30 0 30 volt transformer with a 6 or 7 amp uh, not sure about that for this kit and uh, that's a bridge rectifier diode and four capacitors are there uh, they are what to say 50 volts I guess and uh, 4700 MFT each and that's the kit for 12 volt connection with a regulator IC for 12 volt for the fans and also here this is the kit for 12 volt supply with a regulator IC for the fans so that's it and you can see here and you can see this is the inside look of the front panel and at the middle they are the like power LEDs all yellows and on both sides they are let's say uh, green and red LEDs they are like a vometer if you know what a vometer is so I have uh, made them uh, just like this and the volume controls are there one for this 500 watt kit another one for the 400 watt kit well that's it and you can see this is the front pen and there is a big vent here and another vent here so what I did from inside I have mounted this uh, piece of cloth here black color the air pass uh, through this cloth uh, nicely but from outside you cannot see anything well that's a good thing and that's why I use them so on same thing on this side and another fan is there you can see and for this kit this is a one so this fan sucks the air from outside through this vent 
and blue to this amplifier kit, the heat sink, and that fan sucks the air from inside the cabinet and throw it out. And the same on this side here, so the kit stays uh, totally cool, and also inside of the amplifier, this cabinet, everything stays uh, cool enough. So that's the thing, and the front panel you can see this is a professional uh, power amplifier cabinet. It's made for a bigger kit, uh, like 1000 or 1200 uh, watt or more than that kit on this side and another on this side. This, there is huge space inside, as you can see. So the reason uh, to buy this, I needed to mount this big transformer inside the cabinet and I didn't find a small one uh, for this size well all the small ones are like uh, a bit more smaller than I needed well just a bit of smaller cabinet than this would uh, really work great for me but uh, I didn't have any options so I buy this kit so I bought this cabinet and that's the amplifier I made at home by myself. It's very easy to make if you know how to uh, shoulder and if you have basic knowledge of audio kit and the electronics, then you can make it at your home. Uh, well, the thing is that if you make it by yourself, it's gonna be much more cheaper and you can make it as you want, like I made it. Uh, as I wanted uh, what I needed what I had and what I needed uh, I then mixed them up uh, like this and then this gate to boost the bass so that's it uh, that's uh, all for today if you guys gonna like the video well uh, later I'm gonna uh, do a sound test video of this amplifier and uh, um, right now I can't do it because this is night time so that's it stay tuned for that and more videos like this uh, thanks for watching bye bye